hey how is it going everyone welcome to my channel cyber hashira today's video is going to be about digital certificates i will teach you how to create self-signed certificates and csi certificates i will also teach you how to generate csr uh, sign that csr using a root cs certificate and set different types of uh, certificate extensions to it so let's get into it and see how it's done I'll start by showing you how to generate a self-signed certificate. A self-signed certificate are those where the subject and the issuer name are same. Uh, please watch my video about digital certificates to know more about them. I've explained almost all attributes of a certificate in that video. So to generate a certificate, we need a private key. So I'm going to generate a private key now. I'll use RSA algorithms. So the command is going to be OpenSSL gen RSA dash out rsa.pri and the private key is generated this is my private key All right clear the screen to generate a self-signed certificate the command is open ssl request x509 dash e rsa.pri sha256 is going to be the digest algorithm this certificate is going to be valid for 365 days and the output is going to be test.cr. I'll hit enter. It's going to ask us for some information about the certificate. So for the country, I'll just type IN, India, which is where I am. UP, Noida is the city name. And for the organization, I'll just name it um, Cyber Hashira. Organization unit, um, let's call it PKI. Common name cyberhashira.com email address um, all right i'll call it pki at cyberhashira.com enter and here's the test certificate if i do cat this is the uh, certificate if i want to view this certificate i can run the command Open SSL X509 N test.cr as the input. No out. I don't want any key information to be outputted. And I want the information about uh, the certificate in text format. I'll hit enter. And here it is. As you can see here, the issuer and the subject are the same. So this is a clear indication that this is a self signed certificate. All right. For the next part, I'll delete the uh, keys and certificate that I uh, generated. Now, if you would like to generate RSA key pair and certificate in just one go, then you can use the command OpenSSL uh, request dash X509 dash new key. So this command or this option, new key option can be used to generate a new private key. I will be generating an RSA private key of size 2048. I want the hashing algorithm to be SHA-256. I don't want any kind of encryption for the private key that will be generated. I want the certificate to be valid for 365 days. I want the key, uh, the RSA private key to be outputted onto a file called rsa.pri. And I want the certificate to be written to a file called test.cer. I'll hit enter. Uh, for this, I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just hit enter. And here's the private key. I'm going to do cat. This is a private key data. And as you can see, this is PKCS8 uh, formatted private key. And... This is the certificate. If I want to read this certificate, I can run the command OpenSSL x509 dash in uh, test.cr no out dash text. And here's the certificate data. It is a self signed certificate. And uh, all right, I'll clear the screen and remove the keys and certificate. 
Now I will use an ECTSA key to generate a self-signed certificate. So for that, the command is OpenSSL ECParam-name SECP 384R1 no out gen key dash out ec dot pri so this is my ec dsa private key now i'm going to run the command open ssl rec x 509 dash key this is going to be my private key days 365 and this time I'm going to use another switch called subj or subj or subject. So instead of, uh, if you remember in the previous command, after I hit enter, it would automatically ask for the common name, the organization, organizational unit, things like that. I can, uh, if, if I want, I can pass all that information in the command line itself. So the format is going to be, uh, I have to pass dash subj and then a single code cn equals test so i'm going to set the common name as test and i'm going to output the certificate into a file called test.cer i'll hit enter and if i do cat test.cr this is a certificate let's have a look at this certificate so open ssl x509 in test.cr no out dash text and as you can see here, this is a self-signed certificate uh, which uses ECDSA with SHA-256 as a signature algorithm. This is a public key of uh, the, uh, the ECDSA key that I generated. This is the curve. And, uh, and what? Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the, uh, the self-signed certificate. All right, I'm going to clear the screen and remove what I created. In the last command that I executed, I only passed uh, the common name for the subject. Now I will show you how you can pass additional subject related information in the command line. So this time I'm going to use uh, the RSA key. So open SSL uh, request dash X 509. And I'm going to tell open SSL that I need a new key, uh, which is of type RSA with a key size of 2048. And I want this uh, key to be written to a file called rsa.pri. I want to use SHA-256 as the hashing algorithm. I don't need any kind of encryption. I want the self-signed certificate to be valid for 365 days. I want this certificate to be written in a file called test.cer. And now I will specify the subject. So dash subj and then a single code slash cn test and for additional information i can just do slash for example i want to pass organization i would uh, let's just name it acme inc if i want to pass organization unit i can just do slash ou and uh, let's do pki and yeah i'll hit enter oops sorry i think i okay so here instead of a single code i passed a double code that's why it was waiting for an input i just uh, passed a single code and the command completed let's have a look at the certificate that got generated so x uh, open ssl x509 dash in test.cr no out dash text and look at here so common name test organization acme inc organization unit pki and then there's a I, I did a mess up here so that's why we are getting this uh, uh weird little, little artifact over here i can actually correct it so i'll just bring the command and like this enter okay much better all right perfect so this is how we generate a self-signed certificate if i want i can pass additional information so for example um i'll just put a slash over here so i can go to the next line and dash subj and i need slash common name test slash organization equals acme 
ink slash organization unit is pki uh for country i can just do c which is for country i'll i'll enter in india st is for state um i'll just type up l is for the city or the location where you live so i'll just pass noida which is the city where i live email address and it's going to be pki at acme slash inc.com and once i've done i'll just close the single quotes and i'll hit enter let's have a look at the certificate so open ssl x509 in test.cr no out dash text and look at all this information so we have the common name we have the organization organization unit um, country state location email address and yeah i mean this is the uh, cell sign certificate so here's one way you can pass all the subject related information in the command line okay So far, I've shown you how to generate a self-signed certificate and pass subject-related information in the command line. Now I will show you how to add extensions to it. So I'll start with a basic constraint. I've already uh, prepared some commands in a notepad. I'll just copy paste those commands and explain what they are doing. And uh, yeah, they are really long commands. So I, 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 I don't want to waste uh, time just uh, typing those commands. So here's the first command i'm going to copy it from here paste it here all right so open ssl request dash x509 dash new key i'm telling the open ssl that i want to generate a new key of type rsa of key size 2048 i want to output this key onto a file called rsa.pri sha256 is going to be the digest algorithm that i want to use I don't want any encryption. Self-signed certificate will be valid for 365 days. I want that certificate to be outputted or should be written to a file called test.cer. And here's the subject line. I'm passing the common name as test. Now the extension that I would use to add extensions is dash add ext. So this option is used to add extensions. And I am adding basic constraints equals critical so i'm telling open ssl to add extension called basic constraint and mark it or flag it as uh, critical i'm telling uh, open ssl that this basic constraint should have ca value of false and wait a minute i'm going to change it to true okay so ca value uh, ca equal to uh, ca colon true so this means that this certificate that I'm going to generate, it's going to be a CA certificate. And the CA certificate would allow one issuer to be underneath it. I'm going to hit enter. All right, let's do OpenSSL x509-in test.cr no out dash text. And check this out. So we have basic constraint as one of the extension. It is marked as critical or flagged as critical. It is a CS certificate with a path length of one. And we have rest of the information. All right. Similarly, okay, I'll clear the screen. Here's another way you can, you can pass uh, the basic constraint. So for example, if I don't want to mark basic constraint as critical, I can just remove it. And if I, if I don't want uh, uh, the certificate to be of type CA, I can just mark it as false. And obviously, because it's not a, a CA certificate, I don't need path length, so I'll remove that. And now I just generated a user certificate. So if I run the command openSSL x509-in testcr no out dash text, here's a basic constraint. So there is no critical flag and this is a user certificate it's not a ca certificate and now i will show you how to add subject alternate names so here's the next command 
All right, paste. All right, so same command. Um, so we have the basic constraint set as CA false, and we are adding another extension. So I can add use add extension switch as many times I want, uh, depending on how many extensions I need to add. So first time we used add extensions to add a basic constraint. Second time we are using it to add subject alternate name. And here's the format of adding subject alternate name. So subject alternate name equals DNS colon. And here I would uh, mention the host name. And I can put a comma and mention the IP address as well. All right, I'll hit enter. Let's do open SSL x509 dash in test.cr now out dash text. And we have basic constraint with uh, no critical flag ca set as false and now we have the subject alternate name next extension that we are going to use is called key usages so the command is okay i've copied it this is the command so again add ext and i'm going to use key usage equals and I can mention whether it's supposed to be critical or not. So here I'm mentioning key usage to be critical and I'm passing digital signature and key encipherment as a two key usage. I'll hit enter and uh, this command and we see key usage as critical with digital signature and key encipherment added to it. If I don't want uh, the key usage to be critical, I can simply remove critical from here and also the the comma hit enter and check this out the critical flag has been removed and the key usage is mentioned as digital signature and key encipherment next is extended key usage so Here's a command. So add extension, we have added key usage of digital signature, and we are adding another key usage of extended key usage of code signing. I'll hit enter and check this out. Key usage with no critical flag. We just have digital signature and we have extended key usage of code signing. And now I'm going to pass all those extensions that I used in the previous command in just uh, one single command. This one is going to be a super long command. All right, it's the same uh, the command. So x509 new key RSA 2048, and I want the output to be in RSA uh, PRI. SHA-256 as a digest, no encryption, valid for 365 days, Output should be test.cr. I'm passing the subject and this time I'm passing like uh, the common name, organization, organization unit, country, state and the email address. I'm passing basic constraint as false. So see, this is a user certificate. It is not a CA certificate. I'm adding another extension called subject alternate name where I'm passing the DNS and the IP address. I'm also passing key usage of digital signature and I'm passing an extension of extended key usage of code signing. I'll hit enter. And if I run this command, here we have all the extensions. So we have extended key usage of code signing. I have the key usage of digital signature. I have subject alternate name. I have basic constraint which says that this is a non CS certificate and we have rest of the information in the subject all right in the previous command we saw that as we uh, kept adding new extensions and other subject related information the open ssl commands becomes really uh, lengthy now the longer the command more time it takes to type those commands and the likelihood of errors also increases to make it more convenient, OpenSSL allows you to create a template and use that template to pass information about a certificate. 
Now these templates are similar to templates used with uh, the certre command in Windows. I'll talk about certre command uh, some other time. Uh, let me show you what that template looks like. So I'm going to create a file called my.cnf and I'm going to copy some information or the template. Actually, it's known as a configuration file or con file. So now I can use all of these information to easily generate a certificate using OpenSSL. So over here, I have passed distinguished name and uh, I'm asking uh, OpenSSL to read all distinguished name from D name section. So over here, I've mentioned common name, the country, state or province, locality name, organization name, organizational unit name, and the email address. Similarly, I have have I have mentioned X509 extensions and uh, I'm telling OpenSSL to read all that extensions from cert underscore ext. So this is the section that I've generated. By the way, I can give it any name I want. It does not matter that, uh, I mean, you don't really have to uh, name it as D name. You can type distinguished name or D underscore name, whatever you want. Similarly, uh, same goes for cert ext. You can name it whatever you want. So in the extension, I'm passing the basic constraint, key usage, extended key usage, CRL distribution point, also known as CDP. Then we have subject alternate name, and I am passing at sans. So I am telling OpenSSL to read all subject alternate names from a section called sans. And this is that sans. All right. Then we have subject key identifier, authority key identifier, information AIA. So these are two AIA, which contains the URI for OCSP and uh, uh, the issuer certificate and the certificate policy. So basically, I'm just like passing all information into a single file. And then I'm going to use this file to generate a certificate. Let me show you how to generate that certificate. So I'll save this file one more time. I think I saved it earlier. All right, so I'm gonna run the command OpenSSL request dash x509 dash config my.cnf and I don't want any uh, encryption. I want the keys to be saved in rsa.pri, the private key to be uh, uh, saved in rsa.pri. And I want uh, the output of uh, the certificate to be saved in test.cer. I'll hit enter and let's run the command OpenSSL x509-in test.cr no out dash text. And as you can see here, all the extensions that I passed in the command, uh, I can see all those extensions here. So CA false, which means this is a user certificate. We have uh, two key usage of digital signature and non-repudiation. It's a code signing certificate. This is the uh, CDP and we have the subject alternate name, the key identifier, authority key identifier and all other policies or all other extensions that we passed. And if I scroll up, I can also see the subject um, information that I passed. We can see all of that here. All right. I won't forget to upload all these templates or con files uh, that I will be using in this video to my GitHub page. I have a public repo for these OpenSSL tutorials uh, where I upload all my nodes. You should be able to view these templates from that repo. A link to my GitHub will be in the description. Um, anyways, now I will use a template or I should call it a con file to generate a root certificate. So I'm going to copy a template one second so here's a template i'm going to call it root.cnf and i'll paste this template over here so distinguished name section i'm telling OpenSSL to read all distinguished name information from dname here i am passing all distinguished name information and I'm passing X509 extensions. I'm telling it to read all that from cert extension. And here's the, the extensions that I'm passing. So I am passing basic constraints 
for uh, CA as true and the path length as zero. Key usage is going to be key search sign and CRL sign. And the subject key identifier is going to be the hash. And over here, I have an option called prompt. So this means that uh, when I execute OpenSSL rec command, it will not ask for those uh, distinguished information like all of these. It's going to read it from this section and just use it as it is. All right, I'm going to save this file. And now I'm going to run the command OpenSSL rec dash x 509 dash config root dot cnf no des i don't want any encryption key out is going to be root dot pri and out is going to be root dot cer i'll hit enter and if i run the command open ssl x509 dash in root dot cer no out dash text so here we have the root certificate. As you can see, uh, if, uh, it has a basic constraint set as CA true with a path length of zero. We have a key usage of certificate sign and CRL sign. And at the top, we have the common name set as uh, root CA with other information. And now I will generate a web server certificate using another configuration file. So, okay, I've copied it and I'm going to call it, what should I call it? Um, okay, I'll call it cyberhashira.cnf and I'll just paste it here. Okay, so uh, it's quite similar to uh, the previous one. So distinguished name, it's going to read all the distinguished name information from uh, the DNAME section, and it's going to read all the request extension. So for the using this template, I will be generating a CSR, a certificate signing request. That's why I'm using request extensions. And for extensions, these are the extensions that will be used. So I am using a basic constraint of CA false, which means this is going to be a user certificate, not a, um, not a CA certificate. Key usage is going to be digital signature and non-repudiation, extended key usage of server auth and client auth. And we have some other uh, extensions along with um, subject alternate name. So I am passing two host names. So blog.cyberhashira.com and video.cyberhashira.com all this information is going to be passed over here at subject alternate name all right so i'm going to save this and i will run the next command so it's going to be open ssl rec dash new when i pass the command new this means i am going to generate a certificate request the config file is going to be cyberhashira.cnf no des key out is going to be um, cyberhashira dot key and uh, out is going to be cyberhashira dot cer. I'll hit enter and if I run the command or I can run the command cat cyberhashira dot csr. I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Actually, this should have been CSR, not CER, because I'm generating a certificate signing request. Actually, it doesn't matter. I mean, even if I do CAT, it's going to show up as a certificate request. I can simply do this cyberhashira.cer, and I'm going to rename it as CSR. Okay, perfect. Just like there's an op option in OpenSSL to view a certificate, there is an option to view a certificate signing request as well. So I can run the command OpenSSL rec dash in and cyberhashira.csr. This is my certificate signing request. And I don't want any uh, keys or uh, the key data to be uh, printed. I just want a text output. And here's the certificate request. This is the subject that I'm passing, and these are the extensions that I want for the certificates. 
All right. And now I will use my root to sign a web server certificate for Cyber Hashira. If you remember, if you remember, the certificate I generated for root had basic constraint for uh, CA set as true. Let me show you that. Open SSL x509 dash in root dot cer no out dash text. So as you can see here, the basic constraint for CA is set as true, which means uh, uh, it is a CA certificate. So now I should be able to use my root certificate to sign a certificate request and generate a signed certificate. So I'll clear the screen. Now to sign a certificate request using root, I would run the command openSSL x509 dash request dash days is going to be um, To sign certificate request using my root CA, I would execute the command openSSL x509 dash rec dash in cyberhashira.csr is going to be the certificate signing request. I want the certificate uh, to be valid for 730 days. And I want to use my root certificate. So dash CA points to the root certificate, which will be used to sign dash ca key is going to be the root private key ca create serial is going to generate a randomly generated uh, serial number for the certificate and output is going to be stored in cyber uh, what cyber hashira dot cer i'll hit enter and here's the output so let's uh, have a look at OpenSSL x509 dash in cyber ashira dot cr no out dash text. And as you can see, the issuer is root CA. And this uh, is the issuer and this is the subject. So which means this certificate was issued to cyber dot com by root CA. So this is no longer a self signed certificate. However, if you look closely, there are no certificate extensions. All certificate extensions are missing from here. Looks like OpenSSL did not apply the certificate extensions which were requested in the CSR. Now, this is the default behavior of OpenSSL. OpenSSL would never copy extensions from a CSR. To make it copy those extensions, we need to make a small change in the command. So I'm going to clear the screen and bring the previous command so this is the command that we executed and i'm going to pass extensions and extension is going to be rec ext and extension file is cyberhashira.cnf and i'm going to hit enter let me first show you how i decided to uh, use this line so if I do cat on cyberhashira.cnf, there's a section called rec ext. So I am telling extend uh, I am telling OpenSSL to copy all those extension from rec ext section from the configuration file called cyberhashira.cnf. All right, let's have a look at the new certificate. So OpenSSL x509 dash in cyberhashira.cer now out dash text. And now we have a certificate which was issued by root to cyberhashira.com. And we have all the certificate requests. Oh, sorry. Um, now we have all the certificate extensions that we requested in the certificate request. So we have the basic constraint set as false, key usage of digital signature and non-repudiation. We have a web server auth and client auth and other information such as subject alternate name and certificate policy and authority information access. And that's how we generate a signed certificate using OpenSSL.
That's all I have for you in this video. I showed you how to generate digital certificates using OpenSSL. I would suggest you to practice those commands on your own. Um, Rewatch my video if required. Uh, my notes for this video is available on GitHub. I have provided the link for it in the description. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, then please leave a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I will see you soon with another video. See ya.